Hey guys and welcome. We got ourselves another review and this time we're reviewing Train to Busan. This movie um I had seen it was it was wow. Wow. Really good movie. I I was like blown away. I, I got to the movie theater, started watching it and uh I got to right when it just started so thank god. <laughs> that bus was running slow, but whatever. We get there, we're watching this movie and this theater that I went to it's a four it's called Four Star Theater and it's here in San Francisco. <laughs> Now, it's like a mom and pop theater, so it's very small. So you get in there, and the ticket taker is the person who serves you the concessions food, which is hilarious. I thought it was pretty cool. And the theater was, the theater, my theater room was right there, right next door. So it's a really small theater. Um, so yeah, so it was very, very small, very, you know, it was very quality. So the sound quality wasn't the greatest in the world, but still, the movie was definitely phenomenal. Uh, you had great acting. The story was more, Focus on the humanity of the of, of everybody there. It wasn't focused more on the carnage and the horror of the zombies attacking you. Now the zombies attacking was definitely a phenomenal scene. They did a really good job. That the acting was very well, and the way the zombies moved in and attacked was pretty cool. The makeup effects was pretty cool. It wasn't overly done. It wasn't too much like you know most of the Hollywood films. Uh, but I think budget wise, that might have affected the way that you know the zombies looked and how much was how much you know their decay would have been and how much of the of them was missing. Now, yeah, that could hurt a film when stuff like that doesn't go the real way. But, it can help if you find a way to get around certain things like that. And I think with this film, it definitely did an amazing job with the special effects on what they had. Now, you're probably thinking, it's basically like speed. Uh, you're on a train and you have to get somewhere without, you know, dying. Uh, minus, instead of bombs, you got zombies. And, I thought it was kind of cool because, you know, you're in a train, people start outbreaking. It's like, can you make a successful movie with zombies attacking people on a train and making it a suspenseful and a good movie? Yes, yes, you can, actually. Uh, they found a formula that worked with it, and that was awesome. You have these casts of uh, characters. You have uh, a one train that was filled with a bunch of students going to a baseball game. They're all athletes. <laughs> Then you have families. Then you have, uh, you know, just regular people coming to work or other other places. And you have this father who's taking his daughter to go see her mom. And then you have a couple with a, a woman that's pregnant. <sighs> Can you add any more tension to that? A pregnant woman on a train with zombies. A little girl on a train with zombies. A bunch of students on a train with zombies. You can do it, actually. They they did it. And, uh, I thought it was pretty cool to show how, how the whole thing started. And, you know, it draws a little, you know, the, the way they, they show how the, the zombie attacked and how one of the women who got attacked, she is a, what, what are they, uh, it's kind of like a stewardess, but for the train, I don't know what they're called for the trains. Uh, they have no clue. But she gets attacked and her transformation went after she got attacked, the, I gotta give it to them for their, their movements after they got attacked was pretty cool. The way she just, just, like she was convulsing and also contorted and just got up. I was like, damn. It was very impressive to me. I thought that was pretty impressive. Now, each compartment is filled with a certain amount of people. So now, the train that's getting attacked, I don't know how far along the, in the train they were before, you know, when the, when the attack has started. Cause they don't tell you which train number it is. You, you find out later on. And I don't remember, I don't remember how many trains it is either. So the compartment that they're in, they're getting attacked. Everybody has to run away from it and they're running up to the front. And you have people stand there like wondering what's going on. And then they see that people are getting attacked and people are just going crazy. They're like, oh, maybe I should start running. Um, not everybody makes it because everybody just stands there like, Oh my God, what should I do? What should I do? You're dead. <laughs> you're dead. Now you're one of them. Uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, and where was the back part of the, the train? The trains were behind. after that. They didn't show. I didn't see. Well, I couldn't tell which way they, the zombies broke off. If they broke off this way or that way, or if they did both. But either way, when they when that one when that one uh, person got bit, all hell broke loose. It just took one person to turn the whole train into an epic, just an epic fail. Um, and you had one person who was on the train who was locked in a bathroom, who said that they were all dead. Now, prior to that zombie attack in the train. They, you get a glimpse of, uh, you know, people, you know, filming people up, up on the, uh, escalator that something's going on. You don't find out till it's, till they're on the train that, you know, it's too late. Nobody else knew. Not even the conductor, not even the person on the bottom could tell you what's going on. That kind of sucks. 
Now, with that being said, when they do start going to another train, they have to find a way to get to the next end station and be safe. Now, is the next town safe? Well, they find out, hey, you're safe. It's quarantine. Get there. Well, it's not quarantine. Get there. You'll be, you'll be taken care of. There's an army there. What they didn't know was that they were going to take people off the train and put them into quarantine. But when they get off, you can assume, yes, all hell's going to break loose. Now, as far as the action and the and all that goes, it's definitely amazing, definitely phenomenal. Uh, a lot of people definitely got really emotional when they, when they, with this movie. My mom was one of them. My mom was one of them. She saw it. She was like, she's like, I just can't. I can't take. I just can't. Uh, even she was crying. I know a lot of people cried. There was a couple people that commented said they cried watching the movie, um, or they just couldn't take it. And yeah, it was very emotional movie. And yeah, it is. It's in the feels, man. I swear to God, it does. It's definitely a movie that does more than uh, just give you just blood and gore and guts. Walking Dead is definitely a phenomenal show. This definitely takes more, uh, focuses more on the humanity than anything else. And from what I hear, let me check and see if it's true um, that there's going to be a sequel. If it's true, that'd be awesome. Let's see. Yes, Train to Busan 2, possible 2017 movie prequel. Oh, no, not a prequel, please. Please, not a prequel. Um, <coughs> okay, huh, let's see. Two hours ago, the plot was revealed. <coughs> Sorry. All right, Train to Busan plot 2 revealed. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, that released that a sequel has a plot is sooner than expected and it doesn't tell me what it is but you know what I'm going to keep my eye out for it <clears throat> I will do movie talks about it because this show was definitely a beautiful I mean this movie was definitely amazing uh, you can't go wrong with it the bonding between the male characters that are in it that are the main male characters um was really awesome. The female characters definitely did an amazing job. I th I think they did a really good job at finding great actors to play these roles. I actually you know, loved that. Some of these, some of these characters were pretty awesome, and I was like, damn man, this is they really they they really they really focus more on on survival than anything. If you have not checked it out, check your local theaters. Uh, look online, see if it's still playing anywhere near you. If you can find it, if not, you're gonna have to wait. Uh, wait for a video to come out. But most of you guys out there are probably going to wait for it and download it. Uh, but I'm definitely going to buy this when it comes out. Because it was that good of a movie. It was that good of a movie. Uh, as far as foreign films go, I've, I've, I've bought Battle Royale, one of my favorites. The Host, another one of my favorites. Uh, one Miss Call, another one of my favorites. The uh, Ringu, another one. The Grudge, or Juwan, another one of my favorites. And I'm talking about, these are the, I'm not talking about Rick Mix, I'm talking about the original. So, if there's an American remake of any of these, I might have seen it. If they're not that good, they're not that good. Um, Dark Water was another amazing one. I'm talking about the original, not the uh, remakes. So, yes, I've seen a lot of foreign films, and I enjoy them just as much as I do as American films. Now, if you have any recommendations at all to any foreign films that you would like me to check out, let me know in the comments below, and I'll check them out myself because uh, I love any kind of films. I love any kind of film. As long as it's good, I'll love it. Uh, but, yeah, I... I Tell them, check this movie out. This movie is definitely a good movie. You will not be disappointed. If you're looking for more for a carnage, gory, kind of, like, bloody movie, this is not that kind of movie for you. It, you know, yeah, there's carnage and blood, but it's not, like, a lot of it where it's, like, that's the main focus. It's more focused on the people and their humanity and trying to survive and trying to make it. So, yes, watch this movie if you like that part, if you like the story. A movie with a story. This has a story. Um, but, yeah. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of it. Let me know what your favorite parts of this movie were. And of course, in the comments, there will probably be spoilers for you guys out there if you haven't seen the movie. And let me know what your saddest part of the movie was. I can bet I could tell which was the saddest part because it's probably the same part as mine. Um, but um, this is going to be spoiler free trailer. So yeah, I'm not going to give away any other thing. But uh, let me know in the comments below and I'll see you guys around for more. All right, guys. Bye.